Hello and welcome back to Tharag Plays More Time City of the Damned and welcome back to our deadly challenge. This is the warband for today. Well, at least most likely uh, as long as nothing changes too too much, which means we will have no rank 0 verminkin with us. But we will, of course, keep Haxit with us, who at least, I mean, he's hes almost approaching rank 4 already, and we haven't played that many missions with him. Um, initially, just doesn't take that many, uh, that much XP to, to level up. And if we can make the optional objective work, it's, it's always a nice bonus, and it levels him up pretty quickly. Uh, I always underestimate how quickly that goes. He's still not, not usable at all, but at least he... Is starting to get a little bit more durable, uh, so he might not go down in two hits. Uh, yeah, okay, so Sneak can go for his last skill after this one, maybe? Yes, I've got two more, so we can go for another offensive skill. I'll have to wait and see what I'm gonna go for there. But let's see if we have a deadly right now, or no. Because if we don't, the question of the skill will be answered instantly. So, yeah, that is the case, since now we have to skip a day, so I need to check this out. So, I can go for something like this. We could go with Black Hunger, but I'm not sure if I want that. Ward Poison could be good, but I do have a lot of Ward Poison already. He only has 8 points, which means I... I might even not want to use the Fighting Claws on him, but just give him a dagger so that he has four high critical chance dagger hits. But I really like the... Uh, I really, really like the... The Fighting Claws on him. So I think I'm gonna go with... Where is it? It's in this area. No, it's here. I'm probably gonna go with the Vital Strike, although we could also go with Armor Break. Because we only have one that has that so far. But I do like Vital Strike for the increased critical chance. Uh, if I'd spent my points smarter, we could have gotten that one mastered as well. But I mean, usually he should be able to go for three attacks. But because of his injuries, he can't. So we'll go with Vital Strike. Uh, yeah, he's already built for crits. And that's just going to increase that further. Uh, which seems like the right thing to do. Okay. So do we bring Ashkin back in? I don't think we need to. We can just leave him out of this for now. And we do have to advance the day, though. New hired swords are available. Okay, let's check missions again. Nothing so far. Ah, uh, what it, will it be? What will it be? Another day to skip. So... Should we try out Sneak? I think we, we want to. So I'm going to switch these two. Cashed Call and uh, Sneak. Anything else? Yes, Eradicator needs to learn something else as well. So he still has a lot of unspent skill points, but we've just gotten this now. So we've got six skill points here. So now I can Master Musk of Courage, which I wanted to have because of the immunity to fear and terror tests. There we go. So that's going to take... A few days, yeah, three more, so that's good. But we're we're getting him to a good point, basically. And he's now completely learned out. So that's good. Now we have him in the... We have one high-ranked, well, two high-ranked heroes, actually, out of the rotation. And I need to give Mew Mew a different weapon. Just before I forget about it, he's only got one thing right now, so possibly a dagger. We don't really need a sword on him. Oh, wow. That's a good sword, though. Um, does he have any skills in that area? He does not. So let's, let's compare them. Let's compare them. See if a sword is actually possibly the, the best thing for him. Because this Carnage one actually seems pretty decent, so 28 to 36, and a dagger is 23 to 33. Um, melee hit chance, no, that's... Just, I think I'm gonna go with the Sword of Carnage, sure. Let's let's see what he's gonna do with that. But we're gonna stay with, with our group as it is right now. Uh, yeah, okay, come on. There we go, we've got one deadly. Do we get two? No, so just this one. 
but it's a safe setup to take. Do I want to... We actually have... Wow, I've got so many heroes by now. But I mean, if two of them get injured on the spot, it, it starts to get close again. <laughs> Either way, let's not delay any further. Let's go already. <laughs> Exploring one of the city's old residential districts, you quickly discover that you aren't alone. Yes, we Another are not alone. Is looting the nearby buildings. Dispersed in the ruins, the scavengers present an inviting target for your warriors as they deploy near your wagon. Okay, so we get to set up around the wagon. They are in the buildings. I mean, both of the setups usually end up being fine. A new round has started. Um, but this is obviously preferred. The word stone is going to be a problem, I think. It's all there and back here. And they will be in this area, I believe. The good thing is all of this is intact, so these bridges are working. So I can stay on the high ground for a long time. They might also show up from here. So that's basically what we have to expect right now. Okay, let's go down. And start moving over there and see if we can gain some some information. I mean, Redicate started pretty far back. So he's not necessarily in the best spot. I think we'll just put him here for the, the visual. Basically, I already saw somebody just looking at the initiative there. They've got four in a row. Yeah, there's one right there. Okay, let's delay with, with Haxit. I want those four guys to take their turn first. He, He's really supposed to just go for Wordstone, but I don't think he can really do that right now. This is going to be rough. There we go. So we've got an ambush stance right there. But they know where we are. We know where they are going to come from. So I need to establish um, a group across the bridge very, very quickly before they cut me off there and, and shut me out of there. And force me to go downstairs, basically, because I want to stay on here if we can. So that's what we're we're aiming at for now. But I think I'm actually just gonna end his turn this round. I'm not gonna move him. We're gonna move him in next round when I have more information. He might be able to go over there and sneak in to to steal some of the wordstone down there. But yeah, them moving down there makes that less likely right now. So I'm probably gonna just keep him out of the fight. Unfortunately, we do not get an Overwatch there, but we, I mean, I'm getting the information that I want, basically, right now. So here we have Sneak. I think we're basically just gonna do this and, and set him up here in an ambush stance. I'm even gonna use the Numbing Poison. I rarely do, but we might as well use it. It can't hurt, and it might keep them from using stuff like Taunt. For example, they, they tend to have that skill. Oh, I can shoot from back here already. That is not bad. Do we go with the crippling shots, though? I don't think so. I think we're just going to take our regular old shots, because that way we get three. Which is way nicer. And I don't think we necessarily need to reduce his offense points right now. And I'd much rather have the high damage. It's He can deal, what is it, up to 200 almost with, with all of this. It's 180 plus whatever the first digit is. So 190, yeah, something close to 200 damage, I think, with, with all of this. Uh, yeah, let's be on the bridge here and end our turn. But really good hits on him already. There we go. That's another one. Yeah, they are right there. So I might not even have to go over there. We can engage him down there. He's going to charge us on the staircase, though, I believe. But I've got some, some warp guards over there that we can use. Uh, we'll, we'll see, though. We'll see, though. Yeah, they're... Okay, they're down there more than up here. So I maybe even could sneak up there near the end and try to get the wordstone that's there. Trice doesn't really want to get the... Oh, let me see about something. This might work. I think it will... will. Oh, please don't get hit. Yeah, we can go with an ambush attack from above. It's a tad risky, but it takes away his, his ambush. We're right in there, and now I even get to attack him three times, which is even better. 
He does get a counter attack though. But now we can just come down here and attack him on our terms. They can't do that to me because we're engaged uh, in combat down here. We're, we're blocking this point now. So if somebody else were to come from there, they couldn't. But that bridge over there is also not broken. So they can attack us from there. But Rierx is close enough, I believe, to go down there and be annoying. And I, I like his high damage, so we might as well bring him in here. Let's see. Oh, we got a crit right away. So now he's stunned. Uh, can we take him down? No. We cannot. But this still, I mean, this is good enough. He's not really going to be able to do anything, and we can probably just stay like this. It might attract some attention, which could be good. There is somebody back there. We do not really see him, but we see the, the glowing circle there. You see that? Okay, I'll, it's, a, it's a hero. Okay, so we spotted him. But we can't actually see him right now, but he's gonna... What's his initiative? 73, so he is... Basically going first. Pass Knick, okay, sure. Where do we put you, buddy? Probably something like this. It doesn't put him in a lot of danger, but he covers some important ground. He's just covering our back right now in case he were to climb up here. Not that I'm really hoping that he would get the ambush then, because that's a hero and he isn't. So, probably wouldn't be very good for his health. But, ah well. Uh, yeah, these are fine. Let's, let's bring Sleto down this way. And get the kill. I actually should have put Pasknik down here to, to get the kill, but it's it's too late now. Um, sure, mighty charge him. With the crit, we would have gotten the kill instantly, which would have allowed me to block this bridge with an ambush stance, but now we still get the kill. Which is at least not bad. I'm not going to complain about that. And then we'll loot, but he has nothing. Well, at least nothing worth taking. But I think I'm just going to end this in a parry stance. Just If he attacks us, we, we have a chance to, to block it. But who knows? Who knows? But this is a decent start. This guy is over halfway dead. Yeah, we did 198 there. I also could have just not done the math and looked at his health. But that would have been too easy now, wouldn't have it? Um, Gorzun, okay... Do we want to put somebody down there? Do I really want to fight on these different steps or no? I think I'd much rather try to stay up here. So he's below us there, which means, yeah, I think... Can we afford to put him here, basically? I'm not sure that we can, but I think we might, so I'm going to try it. So let's put him directly in the middle here, although no, more more to this side. And then I'm going to go in an ambush stance like this. The guy from there will probably be hit by this. Oh no, we're going to... He's going to charge us instead, but he misses. This is still... I feel like this could be fine. He is in heavy armor, which is an issue. But I can attack him with... Oh, no. Oh, boy. That's not good, though. Um, we can attack him with two more. And we do have good crit chances against him as well, I think. So this might be fine. And we... Yeah, I think I'm going to get Sir Killalot in there for his, his high damage. Oh, no. His, oh, I might not be able to get that many in there. I think I'm going to actually change what I'm going to do. We're going to get charged by this guy or charge him instead. Nope, we're going to get charged. It's fine, though. Uh, that should guarantee us a kill. Or almost. If I get all three hits, he's going to be dead. And that way we just don't have to deal with this guy and I can focus the guy that actually deal more damage uh, on, on him there and hope that we can get two in there. Okay, nice. We got the kill. So he's toast. Also doesn't have anything of interest. 
And what do we do with Sir Killard? I think what I'm going to do is just put myself on this point. That m I'm not sure if it's going to block it, but it might. Either way, it's going to keep the guy down there if he climbs up here. A new round but which he can't started. because he only has one arm. So that's good to know. Yeah. Uh, would have kept him from, from moving afterwards. Okay, so I do have a shot on him from back here. Do I want to take a vital shot? I think we're going to try. Oh, it pays off. We got a stun. My god, that's beautiful. That is so important right now. That should keep us very safe now against him. Sletto might still be in a bit of danger since there are more enemies uh, that could potentially attack him from the other side. But for now, this seems okay-ish. Let's delay with Hexit right now. Mostly because the guy below us needs to move away before I try to go over there. Okay, he is apparently stuck there in an ambush. Not sure really why. It looks a bit weird. At least it makes no sense that he would instantly go into an ambush then, so he might be stuck on some pixel or something like that. Yeah, so he's probably gonna, yeah, move. Okay, no, hacks it still. Well, no, I can't. might actually be able to make it past him now. Now, if I jump down there, I think he's going to hit us. Okay, so we'll do this. I'm going to put him here. And parry, and next round he can start to, to make a run for the, the words done, I think. Okay, Jesus is up next. I guess we take... Oh, who can I shoot here? We can shoot him. I think we might as well, otherwise we might not be able to get the kill this round if we don't focus all of our damage on him. He has just so many hit points plus high armor absorption. Yeah, it's 45%. Ah, of course we had to miss one. I mean, he's still dealing good damage and as long as I hit the last one now, I probably also should have just gone for the aim. I wasn't thinking. Um, ah, well, what can you do? So, still good. Still good though. And yeah, we're just gonna go over here. So Sneak, he is definitely gonna go in. I don't need the numbing poison with him though. We'll just go in like this. Do we charge though? I think we do for the higher damage right now. And then we go with one vital strike. We get a critical hit, thank you. Wow, 70% chance. And then I'm going to disengage, just in case we would be blocking this completely. We can't have that, so I need him to to be fine there. Uh, or, yeah, basically, yeah, that too. Oh, hi! How are you? Nice to see you there. Um, I forgot the point I was making, or trying to make. Not that I was going anywhere with anything. Um... Yeah, I mean, just in case we would have been blocking there, I think, with him. I, was I still at that point? I'm not sure. He missed us, which is nice. So I still have my parry, potentially. So let's see if we use that. Oh, we're the nation. Fail, though, and something else. What's this called again? But we've we've got some good targets here to, to choose from right now. And he's going to climb up there. It's nice that he is right on the spot there. Oh, maybe we should have gone for the guy over there. But we still have that option. Trice is going to move. Oh, no. Yeah, this guy we can't go for. No. Bummer. I thought it wasn't active. Last time I came very close there as well. And nothing happened. So do I now risk this? Being the last guy to attack here or no? I think we do, but let's go as far over to the left as we can. There we go. That hopefully will allow us to get somebody else in on the other corner still. I could also disengage again, which will put us at least a small distance away. No, we actually can't. Okay. So. Still, I'm not sure if I can ignore this guy, but let's let... I think Sleto is gonna just take care of him alone. Can I... No, we cannot get up there without this. Okay, so. Rierks. 
We could get him in there. But him I don't want in there. Him I want in here. So what's the debuff that he's getting from this? I keep forgetting about it. Deny the heretic. Minus one max OP and minus five melee hit chance. So that's annoying. Uh, the 52 that's going next is... You. So he can go in there and get the kill. That's perfect. Yeah, we're going to move Rooks in there, even though it's going to cost him an attack. Two, three, three, yes. So do I charge? Or do I go with two... I think I go with two Vital Strikes, just because my hit chance is way better in this case. Ah, he dodged one. But the, the Swarm keeps our hit chance high, basically. I mean, we didn't get the stun or, or even a crit, but it's still decent. Oh god, they're all here. So we need to finish this soon, because they're showing up in force now, and that is not what I want. Okay, he even got to hit us. Then we've got this guy over here. Yeah, we need, we need to take down the hero over there fast so that I can start focusing on these guys. Oh, crud. That is so... My god, how many attacks does he get? Yeah, this is terrifying right now. This is super bad. Holy moly. I cannot get a charge against this one, apparently. So I have to just hope for a crit, because otherwise I'm not going to get the kill. Thank you. Thank you. At least we got that. That's a start. Um, and then because I need... Unfortunately, I need the to block this. To, I need to keep this guy from being able to reach me. So I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm already in there. Let's see. He, luckily, he only gets his round... He starts next round, but... No, oh boy. That's not ideal. Yeah, this... Him getting critted twice there on top of everything is just horrible. So can I even afford to go after this guy? Um, I mean, he can't really go anywhere, can he? But I'm gonna charge him, yeah. Like that way more. Let's see, okay, he misses, so this is gonna be, probably gonna be a long one-on-one, -on -one, I assume. Oh, well, we do get a good start, at least here. Uh, so that's lovely. Let's see about the rest now. So their leader, who is over there, is he gonna be able to show up now and ruin my day? Probably, yes, hello. Oh, crap, Rirx is down. Yep, he's toast. One crit, holy crap. This is horrible for us right now. Yeah, this is legitimately terrifying right now, what they did there. That's so bad. So what do I do now? I think I need to go over here. My hit chance is so bad. So bad. Yeah. Not, never gonna happen. I'm not sure about these moves, to be quite honest. But we also don't really have a lot of options here. So what do I do now? Because I need somebody in there, but this guy might be in an ambush stance, and if he is, he's gonna charge us now, but that might also be for the best if that happens. So, let's see. Okay, so I do get to go over here. Which is good. It still costs us an attack, unfortunately, but we need the 2-on-1 against this guy for now. And just... He already took some damage, so we should try to, to maximize the damage output there, if we can, and try to take them down one by one quickly and not spread out the damage. They deal too much damage themselves to allow started. them to just do what they want, basically. 
Um, we can shoot the guy down there, which might be the best thing we can do. And I think I'm going to move Haxit down there as well to try and hit him as well because he does get some attacks. I'm going to not focus on any Wordstone right now. We are, we're just going to go for the damage. And this guy is or should be going down quickly, so this seems to, to make a lot of sense right now. Let's do this. Put you up here and hope that that works out in our favor. But I'm going to, yeah, we're going to go all the way back here. So let's see, Haxit needs to jump down. And then he gets three attacks, so we'll just take those three. Come on. And these guys aren't immune against all alone, I think, so as long as nobody shows up unexpectedly, uh, we should force him to check but now they've got three in a row going and that's gonna be scary so it's for one the guy that was stuck on the other side so is he still right now I kind of hope okay he charges so kill off that's fine he can take the damage obviously and that's good enough right now so all alone fail perfect so he doesn't do anything we are gonna go vital strikes and hopefully get a crit we did but he Resisted the stun. Still. Still good. Still good. And he's not gonna go down this round, unfortunately. But what can you do? I need to do something about their leader as well. Otherwise, we are in a bit of trouble right now, I think. But what do we do now? Yeah, now we definitely need a crippling shot on the leader. It's good that the game showed me that I can see him. Reduce his damage output. I think this is what he's focusing on now. Because he's going to take another crippling shot, luckily, or hopefully, on this guy. But it's 39%. Yeah, that's not worth it at all. So we're, we're going to not do that. Instead, I'm going to... Do we just shoot him or do we shoot him? Just shoot the leader, I think. He deals too much damage, but he's not that armored, so if I keep this up, it should be quite helpful, and he's gonna stay back here. But I'm a bit worried about this still, because the, the, the Templar Knight is... Oh, nice parry. Do I get to counterattack? We do. Beautiful. So he's one hit away from dying. Parry again, even better. Their Templar Knight is, is in contact with two somewhat weakened units, though, so I'm a bit worried about that. As well as them having their leader in the back, basically, so somebody else might go down here. And he does get a lot of attacks, at least Pasquinic still has all of his hit points, and he's at least splitting it around a bit, so hopefully he doesn't crit anybody again. Second Vital Strike also means, yeah, he loses an attack there, thank you. Okay, we're still somewhat safe. Not ideal, but we're there. Wow, I actually hit. Uh, one more. Okay, that one missed, though. Not that surprising, to be quite uh, honest. And we'll sidestep. So at least he has a decent chance of survival right now, I think. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. Oh, no, somebody else showing up. Hey, at least Pasknik dodged the first one. And because he charged, he can't get a second one. Still, this is how we need to take them down so fast now. Um, okay, start with a normal hit. And then... Go with a strong blow. Perfect. Okay, we get the kill. I can't climb with him, but it's still worth it to run the distance, I think. He will be able to make it back in next round, and there is a definite chance that it might still be that there might still be a next round when it's his turn again. But let's see what he ends up doing now. He moves. Oh no! Stuns Gorzon with the first hit. Okay, doesn't kill him on the second one. 
Oh, what? He's still alive. Okay, that is... I did not think that would be the case. Okay, I wasn't sure who I was going to get there, and now I'm getting both, which is better. So we're going to kill him. And then we're obviously going to hit him. Oh, we got a stun. That is so good. And so needed as well. We need to take out one more for them to, to have to check. Yeah, I mean, I'm obviously going to take the, the automatical hit here. Problem is, he still has too much armor. So it's unlikely that we're going to be able to kill him in time. And there's only one more slot there. Yeah, he can't move. But taking down this guy might be our ticket here. But I'm not sure that killing him would be a big enough of an impact right now. But at least we got all three hits with Sir Killalot, so we might be able to find out. So at least we, we might have some options and might be able to keep ourselves safe here, even though we will not A be able to make has started. this work the way I really want to. So he's in cover, but if I focus all of my ranged guys on him and then move in and attack him from behind, we might be able to actually take him down quickly enough. But I don't really have a good shot on him. Why is he always in cover? There it is. Okay, let's take that corner a bit closer. Or can I maybe get this from up here? That might be better. There was a 75 there. No. Oh, but it's on him. But I don't think so. No, okay, so this doesn't work either. Let's go back down to our starting point and just take these a tiny bit tighter here so that we can get in this good corner. So that I can shoot him twice with an aim, hopefully. Okay, we critted him, but we didn't stun him. That would have been... The best case scenario now, obviously. But I'm going to keep doing this. And hopefully it'll be enough to get the kill there. Okay, hacks it. He seriously... Oh, no. Okay, so he's... That's the 72. Yeah, okay. Can we afford to bring him in? I don't think so, so he is going to go for Wordstone. Objectives updated. Maybe we'll climb him up there and see about something, but I don't think we can that much. Objectives updated. But at least I'll get some teensy bit of Wordstone out of this. At least it's a little bit, plus the rewards we're going to get. It's not going to be enough for the optional. Um, but what can you do? I mean, 55% was not that easy, and there, the worst one was just placed in a way that it was extremely difficult to reach. Objectives updated. At least, at least without avoiding all combat. If I had just gone completely up north first, we probably could have uh, could have gotten Objectives more wordstone. But it's updated. it's fine. It's fine. So let's see, he's gotten a bunch of bad stuff. Oh yeah, that's kind of horrible. So I really don't want to bring him up there, which means we'll just move him back and end this turn here like this. So, now it's going to get interesting again. Is this guy finally deciding to show up? No, he only gets to hit Sir Kill a lot. 
which is more or less okay. He can't crit us, so we're just going to take a teensy bit of damage there. Yeah, I need to get to him without cover as well. So an 88% aim right now. Come on, once again, we just need as many hits as possible against him. He's our main target for more than one reason. Ah, thank you, that was without an aim. Okay, I can go for one more. I wasn't sure with the reload. I always, I tend to not pay enough attention there apparently, but... Nice, so we got three hits there. So he's very close to dying. We probably just need one, maybe two more hits. And our leader is going next, so I can move through the buildings and hit him from behind. So this should allow us to get the kill. Thank you. Which is just moderately important right now. We'll take both of those, thank you very much. The main issue is Sleto most likely will still go down. Because we've got this guy here. But I'm trying to reduce his hit chance further. And the critical hit did at least work. So he might not be able to kill us. We'll have to wait and see. Oh, this is gonna rely on RNG now. Okay, he misses. We parry. I think he won't get more. He misses again. Please, let that be all. Oh yes, my god. I can't believe it. We actually survived. Whew. And there's still one above routing. So, no check yet. But, nobody is in immediate danger of dying anymore. Because this guy right there is only in combat with Pasknik. He might go down, but we do have two sidesteps. Uh, or we do have a sidestep, so two dodges. And he misses, so we might actually be able to get the optional objective after all, if I play my cards right. And I hope that we can. So Sleto. Now, all of a sudden, it would probably be better for him to jump back down there to get that one fragment. But I'm gonna see if I can get him up here to get some worse done. We cannot... So the alternative question is... Can we get him back down for the wordstone there? I don't think so either, though. Yeah, this is probably our best bet, or jumping down there. But we can't. Okay, so he can't get any, so I might as well just go in here for the damage. Oh, nice crit. Really nice. Uh, that's gonna help with all of this, obviously. So, let's see. I cannot disengage, unfortunately, so we'll just go for our hits. Oh! Not a good hit chance there, but we did make it, and at least now we've got a one quick incision hit on him. So that's gonna help everybody else. Let's see. Who's next? Sleto is next. No, Gorazun is next. I want to disengage with him if I can. Yes, we can. But I do know we're not going to hit anyways. Uh, so let's disengage. I need to be super careful though, but I'm... Just seeing if I can get him... Over there to pick up that one remaining fragment. We can. If he takes damage because of this now and dies Objective as a result, I'm going to be annoyed. But I think he, they have the, the high resistance. Yep, they, they, he can't die through this. Okay, fine. So now we've got six. So I need five more. The issue is now, if I kill him, they have a high initiative start, I think. Or have we killed everybody that was high initiative there? I'm going to risk it now. They might make their route check, and we still need to be somewhat careful here. So if it works, it works. If not, then not. I'm, I'm okay with that consequence. But we'll, we'll see. Okay, so he has nothing. But the Wordstone is just so far up north, I don't think we'll 
be able to get there. So I'm over the bridge now. What's the best... Yeah, it's not gonna happen. I need to move through this building as well. And then it's a riot there, but I... He can't reach through there, so let's... Let's see if you can even exit through the other building. Uh, that's just a bit important right now. Or you might not... Oh, this way? No, okay, he can't get this. But you also can't exit through this building, so that's a problem. Which means, well, I mean, I'll, I'll take this word stone. It's nice that there's one here. Objectives updated. Uh, I don't think we can get the rest. It's very, very unlikely to happen right now. Let's see if there's... Is there a way out up here? There is not. So we can just go back down there. Let's see. A new round has started. Yeah, I'm just gonna run and see if he can get there. Yeah, he also can. It's just not gonna happen. So we just go back and deal more damage in case they make their route check. They are still capable of making that. So let's deal more damage. Especially that Templar Knight is still an issue for us. So I'm going to focus my damage on him, even though, yeah, 75%. Still not the best, but we need the damage. Oh, and we get another stun. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that takes the pressure off. They might f just fail their check now. It's, it's not impossible, but who knows? We'll, we'll see. We'll see. The game's going to tell us now. They may fail it. Okay, bummer. So we only need four more words to make it, but at least only one went down, uh, which could have been two very, very easily, or even three. But let's see what's going to happen to him. Fool things to think one defy mighty warband. All, all die, die. Let leave no survivor me to. Warband grows strong, great. If listen, follow wise fill. So Haxit should level up to rank four as well, thanks to this. <laughs> Oh no, really? Ah. That's such a shame. He was so good. Oh, goodbye, Rex. You did a good job. It's over for this one. Ah. Oh, that's so sad. Ah, bummer. I'm really sad about that one. Ah, but nothing we can do about it, of course. So we'll we'll just have to accept it. Ah, let's hope that Haxed can be a worthy replacement. He's another Black Skaven. Okay, yeah, we'll 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 make do. We'll make do. Uh, but yeah, at least Haxed leveled up to rank 4, so he's he's getting there, he's almost halfway there, uh, and let's just hope that he can get all the way there. But for today, this is then where we're going to end the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and a comment, and if you want to see me play more and more time, just stick around. And as always, thanks for watching. I hope that you will see you the next time, and have a nice day. Bye, guys.